Well, it's very nice to be here with you. I mean, what a fun, timeless story. What a great little film. Uh, how was it to join the Nanny McPhee sort of legacy and be a part of these films? It was great. I mean, I, um, I went to lunch at Emma's house when Peter was shooting an education in London, and she, I left with the script, you know, and she kind of said, actually, she said to me, um, Mrs. Green should look exactly how you look right now, <laughs> she said. And, um, and then, yeah, I just, I mean, I loved the script, and I, I love Emma. I mean, I'm a little in love with her. She's just incredible. We really got to be friends doing this movie, but I just think she's incredible. And she seems to have a real passion for these films and for this character. How did she convey that to you, relay that to you, and, and put Mrs. Green inside of it all? The thi I mean, I think the thing that I particularly loved about it, I mean, aside from just it's so human, it's so, so respectful to kids and what's really happening with children, but what I loved about Mrs. Green was I actually think there's something very, very modern about ha having... Um, a mother in a movie who is totally overwhelmed, failing sometimes, flailing kind of all the time, um, and who at the same time is a good, loving mother and is the heroine of the movie. I mean, I think for a long time people thought you had to be able to do everything perfectly. Um, and it's impossible, <laughs> you know? And that's the secret that nobody tells you. But this movie says that. This movie says to, you know, to, to try to raise five children and run a farm and, you know, work in a general store on the side and be single mommying is not possible without help, you know, and, and I think it's just true, I think parenting in general is very hard and it will bring you to your knees and it's also incredibly gratifying for the same reason, you know, that it's just like a new territory for everybody. But I don't see that really very often, and I love that about this movie. You know? Was there something liberating about playing the failing and flailing mom in these sort of incredible sets and locations and in the mud and with, you know, craziness going on? Is it, was it a fun experience, sort of a different thing for you? It was definitely a fun experience, but at the same time also very technical and a lot of work. I mean, Emma, it's a children's movie, but Emma wrote, you know, long, complicated scenes that require proper acting. And then, you know, to be often the only grown up in the scene with five kids and pigs and goats and elephants, some of them imaginary and some of them real, um, it's not like Crazy Heart, <clears throat> where, you know, although that was difficult in its own way, you couldn't make a mistake in that movie. If you'd done your work, anything human that happened between the people in it was all right, because that's how human beings are. In this movie, if something's supposed to fall on your head, you need to be standing where the thing's supposed to fall on your head when you say the line before it's supposed to fall on your head. And if you don't, if something goes wrong, you have to start over. So it was incredibly technical, and at the same time, in order to work, had to be really free and really alive. So it was hard work, you know? Yeah. And there's such a, you, you mentioned about the human side of it all, and there's such a great mixture of magic and humanity in, this, in these films. I mean, uh, there's so much magic that she does, but the biggest miracles come from people making their own decisions. And, and can you talk about the combination of magic and reality in a film like this? Um, well, it's funny, it almost feels like Nanny McPhee is reluctant sometimes to use her magic. Like, she, she knows how incredibly powerful it is, and she only uses it when she absolutely has to. You know, she asks them nicely first to stop fighting a couple of times, you know. Um, but sometimes, I guess sometimes it feels, when you are a parent, like you need a little magic, you know. Like, how am I going to make this work? Um, but she also, she lets the kids, she uses the magic to to sort of push the kids and Mrs. Green to grow themselves so that they're standing on their own feet. And I love the kids in the, in the film, the cast, they were incredible. Just, they weren't just your stereotypical naughty children. They were really mature and they understood what they were having to deal with. And how was it to work with them, with these three, five? Five, <laughs> yeah. Um, it was great, you know. I've worked with a lot of kids, actually, and um, I feel like I, I don't believe that children are best when they're sort of little professional 
perfectly behaved uh, actors. I think that kids work in movies when they're kids and when they seem like kids and when they're allowed to be free and allowed to do all the things that children really do. Um, and so that's what we were after, you know, and um, so Emma and I spent a lot of time on our knees behind the camera, you know, making fart noises or, you know, Emma threw herself in a pond at one point, you know, to, to try to get them to relax and behave like the way kids do. Because it's hard to be a kid on a movie set. It's a long day and it's, it's intense. 